Welcome back to SciTech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, I want to show you how to delete files off of your Earthworks machines to clean the memory up a little bit or get rid of old designs or old information that's been on there for a long time to help clean the screen up. Um, there's a couple ways to do this. A lot of people have been taught how to do it through the web interface app, but that web interface app actually requires you to have the credentials to log into that. Um, that your local site tech dealer has set up on that machine. If you want a way that you can do it straight from the Earthworks app, such as we got right here, what you do is hit your shovel with the gear, go back to your job setup, and at the bottom here, there's a file transfer. But before I do that, let me show you. We've got quite a few different projects on here. The Tuahe, the site tech, and the Simplot, the JATC Advanced. A lot of these are just old projects that I want to get rid of. Um, and we'll go ahead and, and show you how to do that. So at the bottom here, there's a button that says file transfer. In here, most of us, if you've been in here, are familiar with this where it's import files, export, custom file, import, all that. At the bottom, there's an advanced button. So if you hit the advanced button, what it's going to do is it's going to shortcut us back to the web interface without requiring uh, credentials to log in but it's also going to only take us to what's called the file management app. So you can't really do anything else in there other than just deal with the file management. And I wanted to explain just a little bit for what you see in here in these different boxes, just so that someone doesn't accidentally get what I call a little button pushy and delete things that they shouldn't be deleting. So one thing to note is right here where it says storage available on machine. That is what the EC520, the onboard computer, is showing you for storage, not the tablet right here. So available is 1.77 gig, and storage used is 103. Not bad, but we can free some of that up. You can see how much storage is being taken up from these individual ones here. Not to go through all of these, because the one that I wanted to mainly show you is the one that says projects. But each one of these has a drop-down bar right here. So like Earthworks Data... Make sure you know what you're looking at before you delete anything. Because this has a machine file backup. It's got Earthworks version. It's got option keys. There's a lot of stuff in here like text files, XMLs, things that you don't want to just go delete that unless you really know what you're doing. So maybe stay out of that just in case. Geodata. Geodata is going to hold a lot of your coordinate-based systems, your XMLs. This one, for example, is holding some data that is the uh, geoid files. Um, we've got the 03 US and we've got a 12 BUS, et cetera, et cetera. If your job site individually requires a geoid or you may in the future, don't delete any of these. But be aware that they're pretty big files um, based on the megabytes here. So if you have old ones or duplicates, don't hesitate to get rid of those. Um, the other one is mapping data. Mapping data is one of those that if someone accidentally left mapping on in the Earthworks machine, it's storing TDS files and mapping data files and all this stuff in the background, and that can slow down the computer and slow your screen down, so you be aware of that. Now, down here where projects are, you have the ability to just go in and see each individual project that has been loaded up on this machine. Remember, they're not stored on the screen. They're stored on the EC520. Um, but what you want to do is clean these up and get rid of them. But I'm very cautious when I say this because if they're old projects that you have any question that there was any data stored inside of them that you need to save, for example, PNT files, point files, anything that the machines may have recorded, don't just get in here and delete stuff unless you know what you are doing and if you need to save those or not. If you need to download any of it, you can select any of these. Like you can select this project, this project, uh, or you could just go in and pull out the field data, but you can download them. If you hit the download right here, that'll download all that data to the screen in the downloads folder, then you can put a thumb drive in and go and retrieve that data and save it. If you know you just won't, don't have anything in there, but you want to get rid of it, simply check the box for the project will, that will select everything, and you can hit delete down here at the bottom, and it'll warn you. It'll say you're about to delete these. Are you sure? which is a good option that they have that in there, but I'm going to say delete. And it will completely get rid of them. The other thing I wanted to show you is the individual classifications in each project. So if I hit the projects and I see these in here, 
and I've got this local three union hall, for example, if I hit the plus on that one, it's going to show me field data and office data. Field data may have a variety of different things in there. For example, this one has designs. Well, those designs are not designs that were sent out from the office, such as DSZs. If you hit the drop down, you'll see that it ends in a dot infield. So this has an infield design in there that if you don't want to get rid of it, don't get rid of it. It also has points right here. If you hit points, those are points from other machines that have been shared with it or points from this machine, this 320. It's a dot PNT file, which means if no one else stored those points with a data collector or any other machine, be aware that you don't want to delete them in case someone um, needs those. But the other thing that I wanted to show if you minimize the field data is the uh, actual office data down here. So in office data has your cal file for the job site and it has designs. So in the designs is where your DSCs are. Every single one of these can be checked and downloaded if you need to share it or keep it for another machine. But the main reason I wanted to show you this is just to be able to clean up your screens and get rid of what you need to. So if we go all the way back to just projects, you can come in here and you can individually check the ones that you need to get rid of. So we'll go through here and check a bunch of these. And I'll make sure before I do it to minimize any so I don't get confused. I want to leave on that one, that one, and that one, and we will go ahead and delete those. Yes, I want to delete them. They will be permanently gone. As soon as we're done doing any of the file management that we need in this program, you don't need to swipe up, close the program. All you need to do is hit this little button in the bottom left that looks like a box with an arrow. That'll close, it'll lock that program, close out of that, and come back to where you can log back into either CatGrade or Trimble Earthworks. Whatever machine that you're actually running is going to have a different brand on it. And you just simply log back in. As soon as you're here, you can go into job setup and verify that you've cleaned it up good enough. So there we go. We've just got the three projects left. Go ahead and load it. We're good to go. So hopefully this helped just so you understand that you don't have to go to the web interface. You don't have to have those login credentials. You can either do it through the shovel with the gear and job setup, or the other option is the tablet with the gear. In here, down at the very close to the bottom, there's another file transfer there. And there's an advanced button. Basically, there's usually for a lot of things in here, two or three different um, ways to get to the same exact point, point A to point B. But go ahead and try this if you need to, to clean up your screen. If it feel like, feels like it's getting a little bit glitchy or takes forever to load up or to change to a different design, it may just be that there's too many designs and your memory is getting full. So hopefully this helps you. Uh, don't be afraid of your machines. Don't be afraid of menus. Don't be afraid of going in and um, pushing buttons to understand what things are. Just be aware of what you're doing as you're actually clicking some of these buttons. So that's my whole goal here at Site Tech Under Mountain as a trainer is to make sure people understand their craft and understand their machines and they're not afraid of it. And they get everything out of Earthworks because it's an amazing system. So uh, hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Under Mountain. Earthworks training videos on deleting designs and file management.